Hi YouTube, um, just want to talk to you about what I'm doing the last few weeks. Um, you might have seen from my last couple of videos ago, about eight weeks ago, I, I found some videos on hydrogen generators to uh, use on a car to basically sell fuel. Um, it's, a, it's quite, quite a known fact that cars waste fuel, they waste about 70% uh, or so of your fuel, so whatever you burn in the car, the rest of it isn't burnt, it's burnt in the catalytic converter. Um, by making a hydrogen cell generator, you can actually make hydrogen on demand in the, in the vehicle and uh, add it to your air intake to burn with the petrol to make the petrol burn 100%, then you can, uh, from that, use less petrol and save money at the same time. So I've been doing this over the last eight weeks, doing a lot of research, reading uh, on the internet, on different forums, different uh, videos. There's some really good videos out there on what people have done so far. I'm, I'm just taking a bit of everyone's video and made tweaked it a little bit and done some own bits and pieces as well. Um, start off first of all w uh, with the generator is uh, a dry cell. You need to get yourself some plexiglass or, or um, it's, it's called uh, it's basically plastic. Uh, two pieces. I've bought two pieces here. Uh, these are one is actually thicker than the other. One's about 11 mil. One's about 10 mil. So it's, it's pretty close, but that will do. Uh, for what I want to do it for. Um, the plexiglass here is 10 inches uh, by 10 inches, okay, 10 inches long, 10 inches wide. Um, and what I've done is I've drilled holes um, half, a, half an inch in all the way around the edge. There's three holes on each edge. And I've put a bolt through, and inside, underneath these bits, here is, is little nuts. You can see that there, a little nut there, keeps that nice and rigid. And these spaces I've made are 23 millimetres thick because what I've calculated is I want my um, cell to be a certain thickness for my uh, plates and gaskets to fit into. I'll come to those in a minute. Um, but yeah, these are 23 mil thick, these little blocks. Okay, that's going to basically keep my um, cell uh, uh, in, my, my cells inside in place and, and spaced apart equally. So that's my uh, perspex and, and, and spaces. Um, the rubber I've used is called neoprene. Um, it's called cell expanded neoprene. I bought some cheap stuff actually from a shop in, in here where I live, and this is what I got. I got this for, for uh, three pound plus the VAT. Um, and these are uh, well, they're they're about um, four hundred by three hundred uh, millimeters uh, big, and they're four mil thick ideal for what I to do because I'm going to squash these up to 2 mil thick each one so I'll have a 2 mil space between each of my plates and what I've done is I've cut them up already um, here these are my um, gaskets and they'll lay they're also very handy another thing is as well these are sticky back as well so I can stick these onto plate into place on my plates and I'll keep them in place um, also with the gaskets I've uh, made a kind of house shape at the top like a roof shape because as the air, the, the, the actual bubbles rise from the hydrogen in, in the generator, um, it, some of them will get stuck at the top. So I thought if I do this, it will make them rise to the, where the hole is at the top of the plate. So the gas that sits inside nice and snug inside between my gaps, between my, 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 my spaces. Um, after that would follow the plates. Now the plates I've got here are um, 8 inches by 8 inches thick, 25 millimeter holes in the middle. Um, that's the size drill that I had at the time. Now, it is always advisable actually on these things to actually get these laser cuts of the holes because um, you end up with burrs on the edges here and, and, the, and the electrons when they're passing through the water will want to travel through the shortest distance and the shortest distance if there's a burr there will be from hole to hole and they'll get a lot of heat generated there and you'll lose uh, um, hydrogen, uh, well, the, the fact that what you can actually make, you'll, you'll lose that. Um, so these, what I've done here, I've used a special tool called a deburring tool, which you just scrape around the hole like this. It's got like a little hook on the end, it's like this blade, and that just scores around and gets rid of any burr edges on the edges of the actual um, circles I've made. Um, drilling this, uh, this, this um, eight by eight by one mil thick, by the way, this this stainless steel was pretty hard. It was took a long time, but. Um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's turned out well. If I had the laser cut, it's very expensive. So right, okay, that's my um, plate, stainless steel, 316L by the way. Don't get anything else. You can use 304 stainless steel, but 316 will last a lot, lot longer and won't discolour your water very much. So they will fit again inside between my uh, spacer blocks, nice and snug. 
Okay, so now I've got my first gasket in place, which obviously that sticky stuff on there won't be on there, that'll be taken off and stuck on the perspex, and then uh, the first plate goes in place. Um, again, you need another gasket, goes in place and so forth. You keep going through until you get to the last last one. Now, I was going to originally use um, seven, uh, nine, nine stainless steel plates in my um, generator, but after a lot of research, I, I was going to have you see um, what uh, seven neutral plates and a positive and negative each end. The problem with this is apparently is I wouldn't, wouldn't have generated enough enough HHO or hydrogen, so I've actually cut it down to five neutrals and uh, one positive, one negative, one at either end. Um, what the idea of that is that the um, neutral plates will bring the volts down from 12 volts down to uh, two volts per plate. Um, there's a bit of science involved, I won't go into that right now, but um, I'll do it in another video. So basically I'm going to be putting through 2 volts per plate through my for my 12 volt battery. Um, I've also look, worked out how many amps this will take as well on the size plates I'm using and how many plates I've got in this cell. Um, it works out I can actually put about 25 amps through this at the maximum, but I will actually probably use them 18 to 20 amps because I have also read and seen somewhere that anything over 18 amps can make the water too hot and you produce steam. You don't want steam produced. So yeah, um, keep on putting this on my... Uh, Gaskets, and again plates going on, and then eventually when it's up to, up to about here somewhere above the actual uh, spaces, I'll put my end plate on, and then that will then be screwed down with some washers and some nuts and bolts and so forth. Um, what I'm also going to incorporate into this is a little uh, temperature gauge as well. It's uh, got it for uh, 97p Tesco's actually. Um, it's there's the sensor in the back there. It's just a little spring really. I'm going to drill a hole in through my plexiglass at the front here, just deep enough to fit that tiny little bezel into the hole so that I won't get any outside t um, temperature readings, it'll just be from inside the plexiglass, that'll give me a reading of how hot the water gets. Um, that's another issue with about these things, don't let the water get too hot. Uh, again, there's, I'm going to be doing some more videos in the future about PWNs, uh, pulse width modulators, um, constant pulse width mod modulators, all different types you can get. Um, FEs as well, I've looked at the Volo chip, I'll give my, my uh, feedback on that in another video again, not doing it today. Um, but I've, I've looked at how to obviously tune the car up as well because there's a lot of things you've got to do with the car. You can't just make one of these things and put it into your vehicle and off you go. You have to do a lot of other things sort of messing around with the O2 sensors. But I won't go into that today. So I'll just want to show what I'm doing at the moment with my uh, generator of making. Um, when it's finished, I'll be doing a test with it, so subscribe to me. Um, so therefore you won't miss out on any future videos I do on this generator because I will do a lot of tests with it and it'll be interesting to see what I produce. I mean I think I'll produce probably about um, one and a half, two litres of gas a minute. I'm hoping so. It might be less. I, I say I'm new at this. I'm pretty, um, pretty new. I'm only eight weeks into being uh, doing this sort of thing. So if you've got any feedback at all with what I could do to, in, to improve this, um, please let me know. and Please put a comment in there. Um, before I go as well, I'll let you know what else I've, I've looked at as well. Um, these plates here, this one here, is uh, how, as I bought it really, apart from the holes. What I am going to do as well is sand the plates. Now, apparently, when you sand the plates, you get more surface area and more bubbles and more hydrogen produced. So I'm going to show you a plate that's already um, already uh, sand. This is a plate I've already sanded. You can see I've done it both ways, up and down, uh, with some very coarse emery cloth. Um, with respect of the supply of my, of my parts as well, there's some real helpful guys out there on my days often going around looking at uh, places to get stuff from. Um, there's a place called Pertec actually, because I wanted to get something f suitable for the actual um, pipes to be connected to for my generator. Now, what in this book, it's got everything with um, fluid transfer really. And there's, a, there's a page here uh, with the pipes. The pipe I'm going to buy is braided PVC clear pipe. Um, it's pretty cheap, about two pound a metre, probably less than that. This is um, high tensile polyester fibres. It's basically reinforced as well. So that's what I'm going to get for my pipes to feed the, the actual water in and out. Um, I've also got uh, a page in here for the connectors. So you can look at this online. If you look at Pertec, and you can find all the plastic nylon connectors. I'm, I'm going for the um, elbow shaped uh, half inch, half inch inlet outlet for the. Uh, for the water to go through. You can get straight ones, you can get um, pipe connectors, again all different sizes. I'll put a link on the on this video anyway about the pipe connectors, that's, that's what a handy place to go to. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, hopefully when it's finished it'll work really well. I'm going to put it in my car, I've got a Voyager 
3.3 litre petrol engine that's what's going to go into so hopefully they'll produce just enough gas to power that um, I don't know if there's anything else I can talk to you about today really I think that's about it really um, yeah so uh, any feedback please anything else oh yeah that's it no, I nearly forgot didn't I the bubbler this is a bubbler f this is a expansion tank from a Volkswagen uh, car I've got one of these because um, I thought that this is watertight it's airtight it's, it's suitable for this sort of pressure uh, it comes with an outlet pipe which I put to the gas will go out of it comes with a, a pipe here as well for the water to come out into the actual uh, generator itself and here was the blocked hole I drilled that through that's where the water will go in and circulate around the unit itself I've got this for five quid basically the other thing I like about it as well it's got a gas release uh, pipe as well. So when you're undoing the top of the unit, any gas that's in there will just release itself safely out of this pipe here, and that's released when you undo it. Now, the other thing I like about this this uh, little um, expansion tank is it's got some little probes in there, which obviously for the water level was for when the, when it was originally in the, in the, in the other car I got it from. Um, I'm going to use them for um, temperature readings, maybe, or even for how strong my electrolyte is. I'm going to use them 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 the probes for something or other. I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to show you. That is into the, the video now. Keep, uh, please subscribe um, for updates on this and I'm a few weeks away yet from getting it finished but I will let you know when I just do some more tests thanks for watching, take care